Welcome to the Windows channel and this is a first of two parts for the video of the latest build of Windows 10 which is build 16226. Uh, so two things here first of all for those that are wondering if you're in the fast ring you will now have available uh, in your Windows update build 16226 available as of yesterday evening Eastern Time North America and if you're in the slow ring 16223 has been released for slow ring insiders so um, there's a build for both and if you got an issue well um, maybe this will work um, there are a few things to know before you upgrade okay um, I let my upgrades do the job by himself I was not home yesterday evening um, and basically um, let the computers do what they had to do on themselves when this morning when I woke up both computers were ready with the new build so it seems that it was flawless install for me um, I don't really know what time how much time it took to do it but uh, it's kind of interesting now there's a few things for those that were unable to upgrade because I know a lot of you had um, one of the two issues that I'm going to talk about here first if you were trying to upgrade and got stuck or hung at 33%, um, well, they fixed the issue and now you should be able to upgrade to this build 16226. Also, some of you have had green screen of death and also inaccessible boot device on install. That also has been fixed. So these are two of the major issues that prevented the last build from installing on many many machines so that's something to know about uh, apart from that it fix of course a few more issues uh, in the system but one of the things that you need to know is there are a few things that you might want to also consider if your update fails on this one go into your programs and features and make sure that you don't have .NET 3.5 framework installed. If you got .NET 3.5, what's going to happen is that your system will roll back. So what do you need to do? Simply go onto your computer and download or remove the .NET framework 3.5 from the computer. And once you've actually removed the .NET 3.5 framework, you should be able to update your build from there. So that's one thing you need to know immediately. Uh, you Oculo complete and URL bar of Microsoft Edge may fail on some device. So instead of having a full string, but that I had already on 16.215. Now two things also. Some Universal Windows Platform apps will crash on this launch, on this um, uh, on launch on this com this version. Uh, Twitter is one of them. If you use the uh, UWP app for Twitter, consider going back or keeping 16215. Word will crash if you try to ink. So if you use ink and Word, also not a good idea. They're kind of saying, well, if you do use that, maybe you should not upgrade. And finally, uh, battery status on certain laptops isn't updating and also there's something that um, has for some inbox apps will now display a name that looks like MS resource. They're trying to find out why it does that. But these are all things that you need to know. So uh, good, you know, I think good news for some of you that were stuck and couldn't upgrade to 16.215. I think it will work here. And of course, remember .NET 3.5 framework to remove if you can't upgrade. Maybe you have that installed. Make sure you uninstall it before you uh, update and it should work after. So my review is coming up. Hope that you enjoy and remember build 16.226 for fast ring, 16.223 for slow ring available as of today. That also means you can now download the image of 16.223 to your computer if you want to do a clean install of this uh, system uh, basically. So if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and thank you for watching.